Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we're gonna to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Fold and a feature that is called continuing apps on the front screen. So what I mean by that is that we first started off with the front screen, the smaller screen, and once we open it up, we have the large screen experience. But once you are inside of a application, you close the Galaxy Fold, it actually turns the screen back off and closes the application. So today I'm gonna to show you how you're able to have this experience go back and forth, no matter if you open or shut the Galaxy Fold. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I made for the Samsung Galaxy Fold or the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So starting off the Galaxy Fold in its closed position, let's say that you wanted to open an application and then you open up the phone, but then when you close it right on back, it actually turns it off and closes the application. Now let's say that you wanted to go through and see what it looks like when you were to open it up and also close it with this continuous app setting turned on. That means that no matter which way you're holding the phone, if it's open, if it's closed, or maybe you were taking pictures when it was open, but then you wanted to close it just to take a different shot because you wanted it to be a smaller form factor, you know, when you used it with your rear facing cameras. And so this is where you're able to go through and turn on this setting. You wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and go underneath display. Now underneath display, you're gonna scroll down to where it says continue apps on front screen. So all this is doing is stating which applications it's okay that when you close the phone, it moves over into the front facing screen. So most of these you really don't have to turn on. I already had the camera, which you noticed that it did work when I did close the Galaxy Fold, went to the front facing of the display. And so this is where you just wanna to toggle any of these applications on. So for example, the one that you noticed that for sure did not work when I closed it was YouTube. Now that we toggled this one on, let's say that I open up YouTube right now, one of the nice things is that once I close the phone, now it's going to continue so I'd be able to still experience my video. Now you will also notice something else. I don't know if you noticed it for that split second that we're inside of that setting, but let's say that we go back right over inside of here where the continue apps on front screen is, you'll notice two different applications that do not have toggles. What'll happen is that if you go to either open or close, uh, you will have to basically restart the application. So for example, with uh, let's go with Tune Blast. So let's say that we go inside of here, I open up the game of Tune Blast. And once you have this one opened up, right away when you close it, it will definitely not work. And the reason why is because you're not able to toggle it on for the continue of front facing apps. But let's say that you go over here and you recently had it open on the main screen and then you try to go back inside of Tune Blast, it states that you have to restart Tune Blast because some apps don't support resizing while running. And that's really the key factor of what's going on here is that it's having the ability to basically resize as it is running. So again, let's say that we go through really fast and I click on YouTube Studio. Now, once I click on YouTube Studio, you can see here that it has to restart because it was already opened up with the larger screen. So I'm gonna hit on restart. So here we are inside of the YouTube Studio application, one of the apps that states it's not able to continue running as it's resizing. So let's say that we just open this up and normally it would go to a full screen, but because it was not able to go to a full screen, this is one of those applications that is not able to resize. So you're gonna see that it's quite a bit smaller. Then you'd have to hit on this button down here, the very bottom right hand side to restart the application and run again. So this was pretty much it for the video. If you are using your phone and when it's open and then go into shut, if you want it to continuously still use and run that application, what you wanna do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, go down to where it says display, and then underneath display, go all the way down to continue apps on front screen. And you just wanna go through and add in those applications you want to run on the next screen. So the one that just closed on us as I did this little example was phone. Now, once I turn this one on, the great thing is that let's say that we open this one back up, hit on phone, close it all the way back down. Now we're able to continue using whatever we were doing with that task. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here at the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Oh,